I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda disappointed with the monthly awards that we got. In my unbiased Reds fan opinion, I believe Jesse Winker should have got like the 96 overall card. It it's just my opinion. I mean, Marcus Simeon had a good month too. We're gonna try them both out because both cards are honestly just ridiculously good. The only problem I have with Jesse Winker's card is that I think the contact should be way higher and then he should just have a little bit more power against righties. I mean, the dude leads the league in just about every stat against righties. You think he deserves a little bit more than that? I'll give it to him though. The lefty stats and then hell, the arm strength. I mean, they boost those up a little bit. He's doing okay against lefties, but I mean, man, when you see him throw a baseball from the outfield, it looks like a first grader throwing it. So they did him some favors on that one. Oh wait, I actually forgot. There's one more thing that kind of irritates me. Where the hell is the Nick Castellanos card? I mean, a lot of people thought they did Jesse Winker dirty with his card, but hell, how about Nick Castellanos? They didn't even give him one and he had a 21 game hit streak all May. And in that hit streak, he was batting like 450. A couple bombs, a couple extra base hits. I mean, he was doing pretty good, but they're like, no, let's give the card to Corey Kluber. Speaking of which, we might pitch with Corey Kluber today. I don't know. I might, it might pitch with somebody else. I don't like Corey Kluber. We can pitch with Warren Spahn. Or maybe Mark Pryor. I haven't actually tried him out yet, so I think I'm going to try out Mark Pryor. But anyways, Marcus Simeon is batting second, and then Jesse Winker is batting third, and then the rest of the lineup's the same as usual. Let's go ahead and get into a game and see how they do. All right, we are the home team. That, that's good. That makes me happy. I want to be the home team. I talk about it every time I'm the home team, but just look how beautiful my stadium is. Oh my, look at this guy. He's got Shaquille O'Neal on his team. That doesn't really look like Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know. Is that what Bill Hogan kind of looks like in the box as far as like size and shit? Not gonna lie, that's intimidating as hell. Let's not pitch any good pitches to him. Just, just throw it in the corner, not down the middle. Sit down, Shaq got him swinging. I didn't even see him swing the bat. Kind of laggy when he swung, I guess. I mean, whatever, we'll take the strike out. I'm fine with it. I've had Mark Pryor for about a week now, but this is my first time using him. I was going to do a separate video for him, but we have so much to talk about. I mean, we already got Winker and Simeon debuting today. Here's a little easy play for Josh. I just checked Instagram too this morning, and I saw that Walter Johnson's going to be coming into the game this Friday on the Kitchen Sink Pack. So you know, there might, there might be a Walter Johnson debut. I don't want to buy the packs and then not pull them, so I might just have to buy them off the market and he's probably gonna be like a hundred thousand stubs so we're gonna have to come up with some stubs somehow might have to spend a little bit of real money on some online currency but we might not do that either i haven't done that this year and i really don't want to i don't like blowing my real life money on virtual coins but if it means getting walter johnson we might just have to do it ice cream duke snyder is batting 348 with 11 home runs and a 1.1 ops and he's the worst overall player on the team i don't know how he's doing this the shadows are creeping in it's kind of hard to see the ball swinging right now. Duke! He kind of hits it well. Oh, it's not going to be anything. This first inning might not go well for the boys in the Blue Sox uniforms because look at these shadows. Right when it crosses home plate, it just turns into a black little ball. Oh, damn it, Simeon. That's going to go foul. That's fine. Simeon hits it to Shaq. Oh, it's going to be off the bag. Run, run, Simeon. Oh shit, look at the bare hand play by Shaq. He was safe, but Shaq can move out there. Winker, I need you to pull out your winker and then start flopping it around to distract Joe Musgrove. Oh, damn it, Winker. Yeah, man, those shadows, I, I, I blame the shadows for that inning. That was awful. I wish we could play night games at our stadium. It kind of sucks that you can't, because that's where I'd only be playing. It's just at night. I don't know, that's an idea for SDS to come up with. Night games at your created stadium. That's down the middle. Okay, Willie Mays is going to catch it. The lights I have right now in my room, they're kind of bright, making my eyes all watery. Kind of blurry, so that's not going to help me with hitting. Maybe that's a sign that I need to get off my ass and stop playing this game for once. Go outside and soak in the sun, you little pale piece of shit. Oh, shit. To be fair, though, it's been raining and storming, like, all week long, so there's really no point of going outside unless you want to get soaking wet and then have your day ruined. Oh, he's running! Run! Go get him, Bill Hogan. Go tackle him. All right. Now it's time for big ass Bill Hogan to step in the box and do some damage. Oh, damn it. One of the things we need to start focusing on is upgrading Bill Hogan just a little more. Because his power is like only at like 70. We need that shit at like 125 for him to be dropping bombs like Adam Dunn is right here. Pulls it down the line. That's gone. How about big ass Adam Dunn? I still have him starting over Lou Gehrig because, I mean, Adam Dunn's been crushing the ball. And so has Josh, except he keeps hitting it foul. That ball was 470 feet pulled foul. We need to keep those fair. Huh. Motherfucker, Josh. You pull them foul and then you ground out. You're gonna be safe. Okay. I don't know why that guy faked the throw. I mean, it was a simple throw. Throw it the first to get him out. 
But now you got Willie Mays grounding out, so it's all it's all good. Just strike out Babe's fat ass or give up a home run. Well, we got a tie ball game, but that's okay. We're going to throw this by Yerman, and then Willie Mays is going to go catch it. We really need Marcus Simeon and Jesse Waker to do something in this game here because, I mean, I don't want them both going over for 4 in their debuts. Well, actually, Marcus already has that hit off the bag, but, I mean, if it didn't hit the bag, it would have been a ground out. We just need those shadows to go away, and let's not give up base hits to Joe Musgrove. Oh fuck, we gotta face Shaq again. Yeah, I don't wanna face Shaq, cause Shaq just hit the living hell out of that ball. Got him swinging, Mark Pryor. That might be a base hit. It is a base hit, if he can get the first and not get thrown out. Alright, I think we're gonna have to sacrifice bunt here. I don't see uh, Mark Pryor getting a base hit. Oh, don't bunt at that pitch. Alright, well, we unfortunately did not move Mike Piazza to the second, so now it is Duke's job to advance him. Duke! Oh, that's gonna be caught. Come on, Marcus. Let's see another single here, Marcus. You got one in the first inning. Let's get another one. There's another one. Good job. Yesy Winker! You grounded into a double play last time. Don't do that again, you fucking fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You, you knew that was gonna happen. I don't think Winker's gonna rob it. That... that was inside. I don't know how he hit that. Well, our opponent is just tearing us a new ass, I guess. I mean, we're not doing too great. I was really hoping Mark Pryor was gonna be a good addition to the team, but so far he's been exactly that. No, he's not been that. I don't... I don't know. Throw the ball! He's going with three! No, Hogan! Keep it! Keep it! Go tag him! Tag him, fuckhead! Why can you not give up a hit, Mark? Mark's confidence is completely gone, and that's gonna move the runner up. Just take him completely out. I'm not having him pitch with no confidence. That is not gonna get us anywhere in this ballgame. We gotta get some outs. Hogan, make us a good play. That's a solid play. Good job. He's going home. Throw it at him. All right, tag him. Okay, I thought he didn't tag him, but he got out. I was about to scream my full fucking head off if he was safe. The damage has been done, though. We're down 5-1, and Bill Hogan's gonna have to try to come make us have a comeback. Hogan! Hits it up to center field! That's not gonna get anywhere. We've been struggling in ranked seasons for our past couple of weeks. I mean, we have not been able to produce any runs. We just kind of hit the ball lazily into the outfield. Alright, that was another bad at-bat. Alright. That, that might actually get out. I think it will. Can we not just hit lazy fly balls into the outfield? I mean, even Joe Musgrove is getting base hits. He's fucking two for two. Why can't anybody on the main team do that? Don't throw this inside the shack because last time he pulled it for a massive home run. Horse shit! That is down and outside. These are the type of games that just piss you off and genuinely ruin your day. Like when I go later on to go get some food or something, these fucking fast food workers are gonna catch me in a shitty ass mood. Like the guy is dicking around on the base paths and that's where most of our outs are getting, but where he's still up seven to one. Pull your head out of your ass, Willie Mays, and get a base hit. Motherfucker. If that guy would have swung at it, then he would have hit it into the upper deck. Oh my gosh, dude, can we not fly out? I want to bash my head into a brick wall at this point. Well, there's a base hit. About fucking time. Of course, it's hit right to Shaq. I mean, I know we all get pissed off at this game easily. It happens all the time because this game frustrates the hell out of everyone. But I genuinely want to rip the door of my room off the hinges. Like, it's fucking stupid reasons. I'll throw a cutter right here and he'll crush it. But he throws me a cutter right there and I will ground out. And he keeps running fucking fiddle fuck around the bases and keeps getting thrown out. And then he's also given up so many errors to where I get base hits. But I only have one run on the ball. Watch, we're gonna throw this sinker inside and he's somehow gonna get a base hit. Probably gonna get a stolen base too. He's gonna be safe somehow, never mind. Something went right for once. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought he was gonna catch that. What the hell do you think Hogan's gonna do? Ground out, probably. He's gonna pop up instead. That's his go-to. Pop up or ground out. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm going to lose my shit. Fuck, of course it's not out. Willie Mays, can you get a base hit, please? I would appreciate it. Motherfucker. Do I just suck ass at this game? What's the problem here? Like, how is he getting base hits all the fucking time? Look where that pitch is, and he casually hits it up the middle. Fuck Shaq. I am walking Shaq. 
I'm going to fucking rip my pubes off. Well, Winker's gonna catch it, so good job, Jesse Winker. Oh my gosh, don't let him hit the ball to the wall, I dare ya, do catch it! You think Brad Miller gets a base hit? No. No, he doesn't, cause why would he? I almost feel like crying, this is embarrassing. It's not even entertainment at this point, it's just frustrating. Are you fucking kidding me? Take Sean Doolittle's little peckerhead ass off this team and don't bring him back. Getting a splitting headache right now from just holding in the anger of trying not to lose my shit. I don't care. Marcus, you can pull one off the scoreboard and I do not care. Hogan, I hope you fucking fall and eat shit. Where has this been all game? Oh my gosh, what? Good job, Mike. I am still just pissed off. It, it's almost like spitting in my face that they scored that many runs in the last inning. Granted, it was only three, but that's still a big fuck you right to me. Bull fucking shit. I intentionally threw that ball at his neck and he still crushes it. Maybe we should give Lou Gehrig another chance by putting him back in the lineup. Sorry, Adam Dunn, we're putting Lou Gehrig back in for next game. Oh, come on. The game's simply over. We know that by now, but fuck. Every time Marcus Simeon steps to the plate, he hits at the shack. Well, where was this earlier in the game, Jesse? The last out of the day looks like it's gonna be Bill Hogan. Yep, just like I predicted. There's nothing to reflect off of this. We just sucked ass. This was just trash. Just flat out trash. We'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope your day is a little bit better than mine.